Hello YouTube and welcome to another review and this one is of the William Britton's uh, Redcoats range French and Indian War and these two are pioneers from um, the first foot guards um, these are individual purchases I've just got two of these um, and uh, I think these were the very first uh, soldiers I bought in the range which was many years ago uh, to be honest I'll check it's 2007 so yeah it would have been round about then when I bought these guys um, these are pioneers which obviously went on to be sappers um, later on in life um, in regimental um, armies all over the world um, but initially they were called pioneers and uh, they would be responsible for constructing bridges fortifications and um, basically getting the army through extremely difficult terrain and pretty much what the engineers do now um, these guys obviously um, would have been right at the front when uh, armies are moving through and quite a lot of the time especially in the Americas they would honestly be killed probably first um, and especially in the Americas probably by Indians and things because they'd be right at the front building something to get the troops over a river or cutting trees down whatever um, so they'd be in advance of the army quite a lot of the time um, sort of equipment wise they'll have to carry a fair bit um, they need obviously the equipment to cut trees down these guys have some quite hefty axes um, and they've got the leather capes to protect their legs um, whatever they're doing um, detail wise it's very very good this guy's carrying quite a bit he's got his rifle there he's got his bullet pouch he's got his short sword um, you know there's quite a bit of equipment and goodness knows what else these guys would have had to have carry, carried um, while they were moving through probably quite inhospitable terrain like I say these are of the first foot guards um, French and Indian War um nice detail i don't know it's a kind of unusual purchase for me but i saw these and i just thought oh these look really good and i bought one and then i bought a second one because i thought it looked a bit lonely um kind of nice pose um and fits in very well with um, the other regiments i've got um not too much to say that I probably already haven't covered um, he's got his gaiters and obviously he's got the leather protectors there no canteen or anything like that so um, I think this is kind of a more dressage look than um, whether um, he'd be I, I do believe he'd be carrying probably a lot more um, than this in, in reality um, I have got some other grenadiers um, which are carrying full kit which I will review and that'll give you an idea um, but these ones they seem to be very lightly armed for what I would consider a sapper would probably have to carry like I say he'll be in the forefront although he would be protected by a company um, a small company and probably a light company um, in general quite a dangerous job these guys had um, but all in all very happy with the detailing um, you can see buttons on his jacket um, the loopholes his crest and you know even his gun which I will put my neck out and I'll see it's probably a brown vest um, and obviously standard black pouch I mean Britons aren't going in for putting the badge on the back but I'm stick my neck out again I think that more or less came in the Napoleonic era um, not so much during the French and Indian War but I could be wrong um, like I say so really happy with these two um, I, I wouldn't buy any more two's enough um, but um, a nice little touch for the range I thought and uh, they do look rather nice so um, uh, price wise these are cheap 10 15 pounds you'll see them about um, I have no trouble finding these on the internet so um, well worth it if you see them snap them up um, and like I say cheap enough buy so um, thank you for watching 
and uh, we'll see you soon.